Hey YouTube fan, it's Garfi signing on. It's all about uh, this MPP Solar Inverter Hybrid off the chain. So um, as you know, my system here is um, 24 volt lithium iron. Batteries are fully charged uh, from about um, one o'clock today, I think. And we've been just selling back power from this unit here. So as you can see what Arrow is doing. It's going to the left, feeding uh, power to the grid and whatever to the right, to whatever lo load that's in the house itself. Wattage of panels on this is 1940 watts. Coming down, same thing here. The Ames is on 24-7. 24 7 as for this inverter here i don't use it anymore i, I uh, it's still connected to the battery but there's no solar panels to it uh, this i'm still using i do love this that's um charge controller it's the um sunny sky charge controller panels we have in this in wattage 1235 and right now we're just floating at 25 all we're pulling in is three, um, over a little bit over 300 watts. On the Flex Max here, as you can see, 1895, and we've been floating for quite some time. That's my battery voltage, and from the um, 8 inch change, um, all is going to the battery in float mode is just 400 and change. We're pushing back over 3,000 watts of uh, power back to the grid included over here from the aura but here's a program on the um, MPP solar so as for today so far what time is it now I think it's probably about after 4 or somewhere there and um, we have pulling over here 3.8 kilowatt over here but that's what the display means we're not taking any power from the battery it's coming from a um, solar whatever is pushing towards the battery at float then the rest goes over into the grid whatever a little bit goes to the to the house so whatever load right now on the house is running solely off solar and then whatever is not needed goes over into grid. So that's my, uh, my system. That's the software for the MPP solar. And um, I've seen quite a few people saying that this MPP solar hybrid does not push power back to the grid. If your voltage is not, if your battery voltage is not on a 24 volt system, if your uh, battery voltage is not sitting at float 27.5, well, I'm here to prove, you know, a few people wrong. That's my battery voltage. There it is, 25 volts. That's the max I charge my batteries to. 25 volts, 100%. Battery charging, nothing. There it is. And like I say, so you can push power back to the grid even at 25 volts. You don't have to be 27.5 volts, you know, like I've seen on, 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 on YouTube and on some of these channels about this um, MPP solar and um, the watch power software. So I would highly recommend this MPP Solar to anyone who wants to try it. It's, it's off the chain. And um, money-wise, the flexibility and the program, you can't beat it. I mean, look how long I've bought my Flexmax here. And if I want to um, dial in anything on my computer here, 
I would have to buy the hub or the, the mate or whatever it is. I'd have to buy it. Same thing here. I've ha had this Aura inverter for quite some time. And if I want to go over the internet to access information from this, over the internet, internet, I'd have to buy a desktop Aura desktop. I think it's PVI one, something like so. Anyway, I just spend 600 bucks for a brand new one and 250 bucks for a used one out of Canada. MPP Solar. I bought it for um, five and change, and I think it's about additional um, hundred dollars, I think, or so, for shipping from Taiwan, and it comes with the CD software. And it's off the chain so anyone who's just getting into solar to hell with flex max to hell with a horror inverter to hell with who else all these other um, charge controllers and and um, and uh, grid tie inverters and all these things that forces you to buy different different gadget just so you could get access to it over the internet to hell with them buy yourself or treat yourself to a MPP solar inverter I've been watching just in case for the past how many years now I, you know I, I love that guy channel I've been watching him over the past how many years and he was always talking about MPP solar always always uh, but as you know it's only recently they started to make the uh, US version so if you wanted MPP solar back in the days you'd have to buy the 230 volt MPP solar inverter I mean um, uh, yeah inverter charger and buy a transformer to convert to 240 volts that is 110 and you could buy a second unit and put link them together to get 240. I'm, I don't need a second unit. That is on one leg and this is on one leg. Same thing, I love my aims, but uh, for this, you can't beat the price, you can't complain. Performance is off the chain. You could, you know, you could access any of the information here through the display panel here with these button or you could do it over the internet or through the software on your computer and this is why the reason what highly promote highly recommend anyone today who's getting into solar especially do it yourself solar people like myself close your eyes and buy the uh, MPP solar inverter if you don't want to do the hybrid, you could buy the regular 110 volt if you don't want to do hybrid. You know, um, I think the hybrid, is, the, the non-hybrid, which is the regular um, silver one, it's a bit cheaper than the, um, the green one here. But, uh, you know, I can't complain. I've been sitting here all day today, it didn't work today, just burnt out and tired. But I've been sitting here all morning just watching this thing, just watching this thing, just watching this thing. Just watching this thing. And like I say, um, this been floating for a while. Just sitting there floating. Same thing here. Just sitting there floating for a while. Floating, floating, floating. So again, thumbs up to M. PP solar guys if you can swing it buy the um, the hybrid which is the green one the US version 110 that if you decide to do grid time it's easily done but you don't have to um, if you get into lithium batteries fine you know but like I say um, um, flood acid whatever it is is also fine but as you all know my battery pack here is lithium iron. And um, I build my pack for 24 volt, but my max charge, I put on it 
it's um, 25 volts. I could go higher if I want, but I choose not to. So, Garfield signing off.